Okay, so uh, hello all. I will be presenting you today a proof of concept for a tool to simulate stress tests to our implementations of uh, CAD DHT using uh, IPTV. Uh, are you seeing my screen? Yeah, okay. Uh, yes. Okay, so uh, I will just paste the... Oh, I can't go to the... So we can see your okay. screen. Yeah, it's just to set the URL, okay. So, uh, how do I close this? Okay, so uh, a little story first. During uh, this quarter, two of the main goals of the GSLP team was to have a DHT enabled in GSLPFS, as well as to start working on a test bed that uh, enable us to simulate large scale tests. So in one side, we wanted to guarantee that the uh, DHT was good enough to be enabled in GSIPFS. And uh, in the other point of view, for the test bed, we wanted to have a proof of concept of uh, how we would test the DHT. Uh, before going into any technical aspects, myself, uh, Jacob and Cole, we host a test bed weekly sync every Tuesday at 6 p.m. Lisbon time. If you have some ideas or you want to contribute or know what we are doing, just to welcome. You are welcome to appear there. Okay, so uh, starting in the, this IPTV DHT test. Um, so the main goals of these simulations is to test two different workloads through the use of uh, seven different parameters. First, we, we can uh, uh, test the sharing intensive look at workload that aims to test the DHT with frequent uh, peers being connected and disconnected the, through the network, while the lookup intensive workload aims to test the network while putting and carrying a lot of data. So requirements are pretty easy, it's just to have installed IPTB as well as GSIPFS and GoIPFS CLR. Uh, just one uh, uh, thing important, uh, GSIPFS has not yet the DHT PR merged, so if you want to test with the GSIPFS, you should use this PR in here. Okay, so uh, we have two, two different commands. Uh, the first one is simulation, while the second one is statistics. Uh, the simulation creates uh, a JSON file with the results that uh, we can observe with the statistics. However, the simulation also runs the statistics in the end, so we basically just want to use the simulation. Okay, so I will jam you now to this. I will start by showing you the helping menu. Okay, just uh, going to the other one. I'll put this one running because it will take a while while I explain the other one. So, okay, in the simulation command, we basically pass the parameter simulation to, to the tool and we can uh, basically decide what implementation we want to use. If we want to use IPFS, uh, the Go implementation or just IPFS the number of nodes that we want to start the network, the number of iterations that we want to put and get data into the DHT, the lookup factor, which basically consists on the key replications for the number of nodes. There is, if we have five nodes and a, look, uh, a lookup factor of two, we'll have 10 uh, different keys available and basically we generate uh, a random key for, it, for each iteration, and we will use it to put a random value in the DHT, and we'll use it afterwards as well to get that data from the DHT. And finally, you, we can also use the churn uh, factor, which is the number of nodes that we will disconnect and connect from the network per second. So uh, as you can uh, uh, check, in my other tab, I ran the simulation with five nodes and with a churn factor of one uh, node per second. I ran it in the debug, in debug, node, debug mode, so as we can see, the test bed was created, repositionalized, and uh, we started each one of the nodes. Meanwhile, the, it will take some time, but hopefully it will finish soon. So maybe uh, while this is being uh, uh, running, I can continue. So um, for now, we really wanted to check if the GS implementation had a similar behavior to the Go one. 
uh, this is like the primary goal of this tool. Uh, and then in the next quarter, we really aim to uh, give a step forward and we want to get this work into the testbed effort that we have also been making. And we aim to have a way to analyze the data that we obtain from these tests, which we currently do not. Uh, and, uh, and when we have uh, these results, we also want to have plans on how we should improve the DHT in order to improve the, these results. So I have here the results now. As you can see, uh, this is the final analysis and uh, it also was created a JSON file with this for further analysis. So we basically uh, ran 200 iterations with five nodes with a lookup factor of two and a shared factor of one. So uh, for the put commands in the DHT, we got a round trip time of uh, 278 uh, milliseconds on average. And uh, we have just uh, six failed offline uh, puts, which basically uh, were due to, we selected a random peer to put data, but that random peer w got offline in the process. While in the get uh, part of this, we had a round trip time of 270 milliseconds on average, uh, failed offline seven, and uh, this one, which is like probably one of the most important metrics right now, uh, we, have, we expected that we would get the most recent value that we put in the DHT, but in 28 of our cases, we got a previous value instead of the most recent one. Um, so uh, our goals uh, with this tool is also to have more uh, parameters that we, we can add as well as uh, uh, get more metrics from uh, these, uh, these uh, simulations. We, we have been also discussing with John Yes uh, how we should uh, uh, add more things, what we should add, and uh, also what are the results that we will aim to get. I've been uh, reading some uh, some papers that he recommended me, and for now, this this is uh, what we thought that would be the most important factors. So, uh, wrapping up, uh, your feedback would be awesome. Uh, please reach me out if you have suggestions or open issues in the repo, if you prefer. Uh, it would be really uh, helpful to have your inputs. And uh, that's it for me. I don't know if we have any time for questions or comments. Thank you very, thank you very much. Um, it is almost 6.30, so we have time for, we'll do two questions. So if you have a question, uh, please put it in the chat box. And we are going to start with uh, Johnny Crunch. Johnny Crunch? Yeah, so my question yeah. was, uh, as remember, uh, Catalama DHT actually has this idea of buckets, uh, K buckets. So is there a way of creating the options as far as the number of buckets to use? Uh, no, there is no, there is no option for that. But uh, as we improve the, our tool, at least for the test bed, one of the things that we want to get is uh, to have uh, the different configurations of the lipid 2 in its daemon and uh, afterwards we can have different tests with different configurations for the CAD DHT. We currently support it in the lipid 2 side but as we are not using yet the lipid 2 daemon and we are using the GS IPFS one or the GoIPFS one we don't have uh, from that perspective yet the configurations to make that possible. But it will be a next step. 